Data Virtualization Logical Data Warehouse. We'll show how typical data virtualization can adopt an analytical data architecture that optimizes the use of different data management technologies by integrating multiple data sources combined together to create a unified logical view. A classical data warehouse has its advantages, but when it comes to flexibility, loading data from different resources, or data home organization challenges, the logical data warehouse brings more advantages. It doesn't contain the actual data, but the metadata for accessing and consuming the data from the various data sources in real time. This is an example of a classical data warehouse. We extend the capabilities of the classical data warehouse by using the logical data warehouse capabilities of typical data virtualization. We'll combine two different data sources. One, the classical data warehouse, and a Postgres SQL database. Then we'll make a specific dataset coming from these two different sources available to our consumers. Let's take a look on how it can be done within the development environment called Typical Data Virtualization Studio. Within the shared workspace, I already created a project called Logical Data Warehouse. The result of the project will be a dataset which is ready to be distributed for our consumers based on data coming from the existing logical Postgres database in an AWS Redshift data warehouse. I created three folders in order to follow the data virtualization architecture layered approach. On the physical layer, I already created views of both data sources, the logical database and the Amazon Redshift data warehouse. All views are SQL-based virtual tables based on aggregated metadata of different data sources. When you go to the Redshift Data Warehouse resource, you can see that it consists out of different folders and different tables. All these tables are aggregated from the Redshift Data Warehouse. Now on the business layer, let's create a few, join and transform the different data sets. New view. Consumer data. Now I will use the two views from the physical layer, the user data view. This view is coming from the Redshift data warehouse. And the order data, this one is coming from the Postgres database. I will join these two tables. Go to grid. and say that I would like to use both tables. And now I can select the columns that I want to use from the both tables, but I will leave it as is and say save. Once I execute the view, you can see that it joined both tables together. Now on the presentation layer, we will create a few that we would like to share with our consumers based on a logical data set that we created out of the classical data warehouse and the on-prem database. Presentation layer, new view. I will call it logical data. Now I'll we'll drag the view from the business layer to the canvas, go to grid, select the table, okay. And I can deselect what I don't want to present to our consumers. Say save. Good to know is that the combination of different data sources is endless. And the logical data set eliminates the complexity of metadata challenges and home organization. Let us now distribute the data as a web service. Publish web service. Logical data. Okay. Now we can go and say open. We go to a REST tab, copy the endpoint, and open the browser. Pass the URL. This is the dataset coming from the two different data sources distributed as a web service. The power of typical data virtualization logical data warehouse 
is to adopt an analytical data architecture that optimizes the use of diverse data management technologies and enhance existing data warehouse data lake infrastructure, whether on-premise or in the cloud. Thank you.